Uh, Kim, what's one of the greatest lessons you've learned、uh, in your career, in your leadership, or your life? You know, not to be afraid to ask for help. I, I, I don't think that always came easy to me,、uh, but learning early on that it's not a sign of weakness to seek out people who can help you、um, has been helpful for me. And in my experience, people are always very generous to get involved and and help. You know, was it natural for you to ask for help the first time? No, I don't think so.、Um, I think early on, I thought I had to have all the answers. So, you know, I worked with mentors,、um, and you know, I, I became more comfortable with asking for help and knowing that some of the answers that I didn't have or the challenges that I was feeling, others were feeling as well. So I wasn't alone with those challenges. Yeah, because as leaders, sometimes、uh, we feel like we need to have all the answers, and not having them is a sign of you know weakness. But it's it's more so about being vulnerable to your team and your organization to show that you're also a human being at the end of the day. Absolutely. When you look back at your entire career, is there anything you wish you had done differently? I think I trust my instincts more and not be afraid to act on them alone. To be less afraid to make mistakes. I mean, it's how we all learn. Perhaps that would have helped me to be maybe a bit more courageous earlier on. What do you think have been some of the best decisions that you've made in your career or your life? I think one of the best decisions、um, I did was committing to train and complete a marathon.、Mm. Um, that's a very fond experience of mine. I, I gained a tremendous sense of self-accomplishment. And a whole new cadre of friends, and a greater appreciation on how being fit makes me feel, which has really stayed with me. So I like to encourage other people to really push past their boundaries, both personally and professionally, as a way to replenish their confidence and surprise themselves along the way. What did you learn about yourself through that process? You know, hard work pays off. It was a daunting challenge. I don't think I was 100% sure I was going to be able to do it. So, you know, with focus and hard work, and you know, again, working with others, I would not have gotten there without my running buddies and without coaching. So, you know, that's that explains life. We get to where we are. We are who we are. Standing on the shoulders and being supported by the people around us. And what inspired you to take this challenge on? I, I think I had gotten into a bit of a rut physically, and it seemed like something that would require hard work. But it wasn't just about doing more of my day job. So it was a good stress outlet、mm-hmm. and a healthy habit. It was. I've always been sports minded,、uh, young growing up. So it was something that I hadn't done, and I, I felt it was very empowering. Have you been doing them regularly then, ever since? No, I did more half marathons after the full marathon, but、uh, fitness is still an important part of my lifestyle.、Mm-hmm. So that has definitely stuck with me. Yeah, yeah growing up playing sports, playing team sports,、mm-hmm. uh, those were that was a big part of my formative years for sure. And you know, as leaders, there's so much to do. You could really be working 24 hours in the day. And you know, most leaders are really passionate about their work. They take it home. They want to be doing it all the time. How does a leader make time? As you were talking about recharging, you know, fueling the other parts of their being. So it's a it is about protecting that time. And you know, organizations and healthcare run 24/7 for the most part. So letting others know,、um, you know, where you are, also giving the opportunity for other leaders to, you know, be in charge or, you know, attend meetings or take on projects maybe that would be too much for you to have on your plate. I think it's good learning for、um, opportunities for other people to take on roles that are beyond their scope. It's it's a way to learn, and hopefully, you know, they in turn provide those opportunities for the people who report to them.、Mm-hmm. But I do think you you do need to identify and protect that time. It just it just doesn't happen、um, because patient care is twenty four seven and it can easily take our whole day. Right, so it's about taking that responsibility and ownership of your time and protecting it. Yeah.
And when you look back at, you know, your daughter is 14 years now, and uh, you mentioned you went into management when she was only four. So the past 10 years have been uh, go, go, go pretty much for you. Are there things that you've learned through this journey over the years that you wish to share with others? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I certainly didn't do it all by myself. I have a very supportive husband and while I do believe you can have it all, I also believe that you can't have it all at once. You know, knowing what is important to you, knowing how you best recharge. And for me, it was family time. I, like I said, protecting that time. And, you know, sometimes it's about prioritizing your own personal needs and balancing them with, you know, what you need to do in your professional life as well. But things change. The workspace is dynamic. So, like I said, you can have it all, but just not all at once. And recognizing that it's, there's flexibility and ways to evolve over time. So we all hit rough patches where we have to roll up our sleeves and hunker down. Mm -hmm. But there's also, there's troughs and crests mm -hmm. and we need to ride, we need to ride them out. And it, it all works out. I'm optimistic in the long run. Life is about the ups and downs. We are, it's bound to happen. So is there a particular time in your life when you were facing that low period and you've learned so much from that, you, you know, you want to share? You know, I think as a leader, there are so many times when you face so many challenges. I think what helps is, you know, if you're starting to feel like you're alone in that challenge, you need to bring people around you. It's really all about the team and that team is internal and that team and colleagues are also external. So different groups, different people uh, that you can rely on and work together. Uh, I do think that better solutions and better work is achieved when more than one person is involved. So you get to a better place. And I think it's also self-preserving uh, to also work with others and learn from others. That's what's part of the fun. We're social beings. Mm -hmm. So that needs to also be at work as well. 